Parkson MBBR Technology. The MBBR Technology is a process which is based on the biofilm principle and utilizes the advantages of activated sludge and previous biofilm systems without being restrained by their disadvantages. The process can be delivered as a pure biofilm solution treatment process, as pre-treatment biological process, or even combined with activated sludge biological process. The biological process allows existing conventional activated sludge plants to be easily upgraded for nutrient removal using the existing reactors available rather than building new concrete basins. The core of the process is the biofilm carrier elements, which are made from polyethylene with a density slightly below water. Carrier elements are formed in such a way that it gives a large protected surface for the biofilm and optimal conditions for the bacteria culture when the elements are circulated in the water. The reactor is normally filled up to about 50% of the water volume with carrier elements. In aerobic reactors, the carrier elements are moving and circulating in the reactor by the air from the bottom aerators. In anoxic, the biofilm carriers are circulating by means of propeller-type mixers. The process has been tested and documented in test and commercial installations, both for municipal wastewater with low COD and BOD content, as well as for food industry wastewater and forest industry wastewater with high COD content up to 40 grams per cubic meter. Incoming wastewater to the sewage treatment plant is comprised of sanitary wastewater. The treatment process is designed to remove biological oxygen demand, BOD, total suspended solids, TSS, ammonia and nitrates from the wastewater. Parkson MBBR technology and the tertiary DynaDisc filter can produce high quality effluent that meets Title 22 requirement for reuse. The treatment process consists of Pre-treatment including screens to remove trash from the influent wastewater, equalization tank for balancing the fluctuations in flow and wastewater content in the sewage water, secondary treatment including anoxic tank to remove nitrates returned from the aeration stage, aeration tank to remove BOD and convert ammonia to nitrates, clarifier to separate the biosolids from the treated water, tertiary treatment including Parkinson's DynaDisc technology to further improve the quality of the treated wastewater, chlorine contact to remove any remaining pathogens, sludge tank, sludge digester for storing the solids removed during the treatment process, 